<laughs> hey guys, I hope everybody enjoyed the BMW Championship this last weekend, and we had a wire-to-wire -wire winner, Mark Leishman. A uh, big Aussie, 6'2", 200 pounds, who hits the ball really hard and can make a ton of birdies. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, um, if you think back to 2009, uh, Mark Leishman was Rookie of the Year. Yes, indeed. Uh, quite a year indeed. And uh, he finished runner-up that year in the BMW Championships to Tiger Woods. And uh, Mr. Leishman has three wins on the PGA Tour now. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty interesting uh, golf swing that I can't wait to talk about. But I did want to mention there was a very humanizing piece on Mr. Leishman on Sunday that uh, talked about his relationship with his wife, who in 2015, Audrey was suffering from acute respiratory distress syndrome, and she was put in an induced coma and toxic shock began to affect her organs. She was given a 5% chance of recovery, and by mid-April, she had recovered enough to return home. So uh, they live in Virginia Beach, and best of luck to them. They have a baby girl and and uh, three children total. Just, just beautiful. But let's talk about this powerful golf swing. Okay, let's take a look at this awesome golf swing here. One of the things I like so much about Mark Leishman's swing is he maintains a really steady head. So watch once he gets down here into the hit. Now we'll notice, like Jason Day, uh, who I did a swing uh, analysis of recently, those arms get really straight through the impact position. And that head doesn't move. So we can see that he's got some nice hip depth here. Let's move this out of the way. He's got good hip depth. Little inside over the top move there. He's going to go down and just hit the heck out of this thing. But he keeps that head steady. So important that it doesn't move in front of the ball. But look at his arms. They get nice and he has full length of his arms. How does he create that space? He's got so much space for his arms in the club to just smash that ball. And we'll notice that his club doesn't exit low and left like many other people. He's more of a down-the-line swinger. So let's take a, a little better look. We've, we've got this driver swing here. He's just pounding that patented fade. Um, I find, and I, I've heard that a lot of pros find, that the modern drivers, it's a little bit trickier uh, to hit a draw today than it is to hit a fade. But power fade, he's strong, he gets it out there. But I want to point out a couple things that I like about this. He's got real good knee flex here. Takes the club back. We can see here that he's got that club face really open right here. That toe was pointing down. So he doesn't have an extremely strong grip. And that is going to help facilitate that fade. And again, we see full extension through impact. Let's look at this little inside over the top move. But he keeps that head behind the ball. You'll even see that his legs straighten a little bit. You might even say that he has a, a, a minor early extension. You can see his legs straighten and his hips move forward a little bit. But to be honest with you, Jack Nicholas had that too. You know, so this guy is really bombing it. So one of the things I found really instructive um, looking at Mark Leishman's swing, and we'll take a look at it on this next swing. It starts out kind of dark, but what you'll see here is I've placed a dot on Mark Leishman's shoulder. Now this is also a great angle to watch how he keeps his head behind the ball, but I think you'll find this pretty interesting. That's where his left shoulder starts. 
Now remember, his arms are going to rise, and he's going to have the full length of both his arms and the club as he hits the ball. So as he comes down into the ball, look at how much farther behind the ball he is than when he started. And there you have it. So that's how he creates the space. That left shoulder is behind and so much higher than it was when he set up. So let's look at that one more time. Now we can watch his head stay really behind the ball. Look at the flex in those knees. He even has flex in his lead arm. But he keeps that head behind the ball, uses the ground for leverage, and bam! Absolutely amazing. So he creates space by moving backwards, keeping his head steady, and rotating right up through the ball. I'd compare him to uh, Nicholas, actually. I see a lot of the things in his swing. Look at that. The, this even reminds me a little bit of Nicholas. The high hands with the clubs more straight up and down, not the doorway finish that Mr. Hogan used. So I hope you find that interesting. Best of luck to you, Mark Leishman. It was nice to learn a little bit about you this weekend. And I hope you guys hit them long and hit them straight. I have a brand new instructional video called The Hogan Code. In this video I break down everything that I learned over my long journey to learn to swing like Ben Hogan and now you can learn the very same techniques that I used to become the golfer I always wanted to be.